Happy Tuesday, man. <sighs> okay, so the dust is cleared, right? The dust is cleared from the ramble. Ooh, I better see if I can charge this phone while we go because it's gonna die. Sorry, sorry, better. Okay, where were we? Dust is cleared from the ramble, and now it is time to get serious about the next Adam as a group album. Um, uh, we have one big tour this fall, uh, during which we will be heading through the Midwest. A lot of those shows aren't announced yet, um, but... Uh, but a lot of our fall, I mean, we've just got a smattering of stuff throughout uh, the Northeast Corridor. And uh, um, this was intentional. We toured pretty hard uh, this summer and this spring. Um, uh, I wanted to be able to spend some time with my family. Uh, but we also need to devote some time to the next Adam and Ezra Group album. We've been waiting way too long for it. Uh, uh, we, as a band, maybe some of you all out there. The challenge is I write a lot of songs, and it is hard to figure them out. But um, uh, as you know, as you may know, uh, uh, this spring, we went down to Austin, Texas uh, to work with producer Gordy, Gordy Quist at his studio, the finishing school, they call it, uh, in, uh, and I think I said Austin, Texas, I think I said that. Uh, we spent three, uh, three days uh, working on three songs, nah, none of which the world has heard yet, but uh, uh, I mean, you all have heard two out of the three songs played live, but you haven't heard the recordings yet because we haven't heard the recordings yet. Um, we are, uh, we had such a positive experience doing that that we want to go back and finish a 10 song album. That is our project this fall. Now, before we talk about that, we're going to talk about some of the other releases that are going to be happening in the meantime before we released this album. Um, Hold Each Other Now, song uh, co-written with and then produced by John Oates, uh, has been out now for a couple weeks. And uh, thanks in part to you all, um, uh, it is been going great. Um, uh, I talked to you all a little bit last week about the power I mean, it really is amazing. Y'all have, have no idea, right? Most artists that release music that you have heard of, I mean, they have very, very large budgets to get the music out into the world. And uh, part of that is spent just generating visibility on platforms like Spotify. And... Uh, we do not have these kind of connections. We do not have these kind of resources. But what we do have, what we do have is this amazing and inspiring community. And there are actual things that we can do as a community that can have a huge impact for the Adam Ezra group. 
and our new music as far as getting it out into the world, um, getting it seen and listened to by other people. Um, I was uh, I was talking last week uh, when we were gathering about uh, how impactful it would be, right? I mean, right? A million streams seems like a ton of streams, a ton of streams. But, right, if you think about it, <laughs> right, a hundred people or 500 people playing a song on repeat, right, with the volume down for a week gets us halfway there. It's crazy. It is really crazy. Um, it seems a little bit like cheating, but you have to compare it to the other artists out there that are spending dollars to have the same impact. Um, uh, it is, it is crazy. There's like any product that you put out in the world, it takes advertising to let the world know about it. Either that, or it just, it takes some, some kind of a brush fire spreading of word, right? And believe it or not, when a song is played and gets a lot of listens, um, uh, uh, a lot of streams, that that song then gets added to playlists, it then gets recommended to other people who are listening to similar music. It's crazy how it works. Um, so, um, uh -huh. I am just seeing a comment about streaming and collecting very small amounts of money uh, from uh, from our gatherer, Joe. Joe, some artists do think that way, right? Some artists say they don't make money from streaming. I could not disagree with that more. I want to tell you why, okay? Um, <laughs> uh, what's way more impactful than whatever dollars are spent on CDs, right? Is having other people in the world find out about us. And every time you're listening to one of our CDs, it is wonderful that you bought a CD, but every time you're listening to one of our CDs, you're not, every time you're streaming it, right? The counts of the streams go up, which makes the song more visible, which makes us more visible out in the world. Um, uh, and that's, Th that's why I believe if I had my choice, this may be a controversial thing to say, <laughs> right? If I had my choice, right? I would not sell another CD and I would have every single one of our fans streaming our music because it would help bring other people to our music. And that's the marathon I want to run right now. It's not the sprint of making a few dollars on a CD. It's the marathon of bringing people into this community. The bigger this community gets, the more people that come to our music and then come to shows and then connect with this community, right? Uh, it just, it compounds on itself. It makes things more powerful. So uh, 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 I love those of you who like to spend money and buy our CDs. I love that but then use them as a coaster or hang them on the wall and stream our music instead. Um, <laughs> cheers. I got off. I got off topic, didn't I? Um, so we released Hold Each Other Now. We are going to release two other acoustic songs, live performances that I performed uh, with John Oates in the studio. Some of you have maybe seen... Um, some videos of this. There is a version of All I Am from Hurricane Wind that came from that same session. We also, that day, played Juna Please and uh, Truth in the Wine. We are gonna be releasing those live performances over the next handful of weeks. And hopefully, hopefully, I would love to release with Josh producing, I would love to release Mama Luna. Um, uh, uh, that's been our, it's just been one of our most fun songs to work on and play this summer. Um, I would love to release that song. Uh, and I'm going to let the cat out of the bag now. It is not announced. It is not announced yet officially. But 
we are going to be doing the dysfunctional family gathering holiday tour once again with our friends Cersei. Um, we are going to be playing shows uh, 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 all over the Northeast. We are going to be announcing them in the next couple of weeks. Uh, last year, during that tour, we wrote a song um, called Last Resistor. And, uh, and we are going to see, uh, we're going to see if uh, uh, we can pull off recording and releasing Last Resistor in honor of the Dysfunctional Family Gathering holiday tour. Maybe we'll be able to write another song during the tour, too. I don't know. Anyways, I would love you all. You should just clear your calendars. You should clear your calendars and prepare to come on the road with us. That's what I think. Uh, it's going to be six nights from the day after Christmas to New Year's Eve. Um, everything is going to be drivable every night. It's going to be Cersei and Adam Ezra Group. And uh, we're gonna just see what kind of mischief we can get into together on stage each night. We're really, we're all very, very excited. Um, I'm not supposed to be talking about it yet because none of the shows are announced officially, but fuck it. Okay. <laughs> I'm coming back, I'm coming back around to the whole point of this damn gathering, which was to talk about the next recording project. Um, Gordy, uh, the, uh, uh, the producer and Adam as group, we've been bouncing around about 30 demos, 30 demos. And we've got to figure out a 10 song track list from those 30 de demos. For those of you who gather often with me, we've talked about this a lot. Um, uh, or we've talked about it before. We talked about it earlier on this summer, but I'm going to dig back in to the 30, 30 songs uh, and unfortunately, it is now 31 songs because uh, I just submitted another demo. Um, but uh, uh, I want to share them with you. Uh, I want to talk about them with you. Uh, as we go, uh, I will also talk about kind of how far along the whittling down process we are right now. Okay. I mean, we could go in alphabetical order. I just mentioned this. We released a, an acoustic live performance of this, just me and John Owens playing the song. But the band has been playing it ever since, and I think uh, I think the bandies came up with a really pretty version of this song. I think it deserves to be released. It's a song called All I Am. And actually, on John Oates' latest album, he recorded an awesome version of this song. And uh, it would be pretty cool to release our own version. Right? Yeah. Here we are at One Road's End you and me, hand in hand Feel the doubt from where we've been Didn't turn now like we planned All I am Is the ground below the stars All I am Is a story written in scars Instead of two shifty signs In the end that's all I am No map to follow, no friends advice the Folks don't get it, it ain't their land up to us this choice we make Hold together will we pray All I am is the ground below the stars All I am is a 
story written in scars Step by step through shifting sight In the end that's all I Under dark condensed gas I can't be the man you thought I'd be But I keep walking If you want with me Walk with me All I am is the ground below the stars. All I am is a story written in scars. Slipping instead of through shifting sign. In the internet's all I Step instead of through shifting. All I All I One down, 30 to go, the contenders for the upcoming album. That's what we're talking about tonight. I'm going to tell you this right now. It is probably low odds that All I Am is going to make the cut on this album. And man, look, I'm telling you, I really am telling you, I wish we had the resources to come out with three albums and release all these songs because I really do love them. And I have never had the feeling as an artist of like, oh, I've recorded everything I want to do. I've got a clean slate. I'm going to dig in and write the next album. Soup to nuts. I'm just going to think about it and write. I would love to be able to do that someday. But it ain't in the cards right now. And uh, uh, realistically speaking, we have already, by the way, for those of you that know my music very well, uh, know our music very well. We have already recorded Revelate and Letter uh, uh, in Austin, Texas this spring. We also recorded a third song that I wrote while in the studio there. And uh, we worked it out in studio. We played it live. It was an amazing experience. Um, it's a song called Come To Me. I will play it for you uh, at some point, I promise. Um, uh, and, uh, so really what we're talking about is we only have seven songs to choose, right? Uh, um, to fill out this album. Um, it's a stressful thing for me, y'all. I want to make the right decisions. I feel like, um, I feel like, you know, I'll have never invested this kind of money in an album before. We've never been in a place as a band to be able to kind of do it. Um, and uh, and I want to do it right, and I want to do it well. And I want to choose smart songs uh, uh, that are not just songs that I love, but songs that other people that will have the most impact out there. Um, and I don't know if that just means recording right like the poppiest songs on this 30 song list because i ain't a pop artist and that ain't gonna be the way that the music gets out there uh it it may i don't know how to choose the right songs which is why we're talking about this and you know i'm sharing these songs with you but it's also helping me 
work out thoughts and think about the songs as well, which I have been doing kind of nonstop. It's actually just nice to have company with you all. So thank you for being here. <laughs> mm -hmm. So All I Am will be a challenge. It'll be a challenge. You can only put so many ballads on an album. There may be a couple ballads already. That new song, Come To Me, is kind of a slow song, uh, unfortunately. So we'll kind of count as a ballad. You can probably, on a 10 song album, right? You can probably only, I mean, at the most, you could have kind of three slow songs. Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, some artists have a whole album of ballads. I mean, I would, God, I'd love to do that, but uh, I'm not sure that that would be the smartest move. Um, so this is a song uh, uh, that I feel like has a high probability. I say this because of uh, it's been reacted to very positively by you gatherers. It's been reacted to very positively by live audiences. It was reacted to very positively by the producer. Um, uh, it's also uh, one of the songs I wrote about being a daddy, and so it's close to my heart. Uh, it's also kind of different. Uh, it's kind of it maybe got a little bit of a poppy format, but it's got a weird kind of guitar part uh, that uh, that I think makes it a little bit unique. I have no effing idea how to arrange it with the band. The reason the band doesn't play this song is that uh, I'm not sure how to arrange it. It's a song called Big Love. <laughs> Now it's hard because the drums, I mean the, the, the guitar, is playing the bass and the drums, right? <laughs> At the same time. It's doing this. I mean that is essentially a drum part. It is keeping time. It is also playing the bass. different kind of a guitar sound and I'm really really like it connects with me it it does what I want it to do it conveys the emotion that I was trying to express that I was feeling when I was writing this song and uh, I am not sure if putting drums and bass on this damn song isn't just gonna cover up the thing that's already happening um, I am hoping that uh, if this becomes a very serious candidate for the album, uh, that Gordy will have some ideas, um, some, some unique ideas. You know how to love, can you teach me? Open up my heart. Tell me there will never be a ready time, time All I know is it will always be my little shine My little shine Someday you will wonder why we all don't break We're so small in a scary world And we never know the ends to the past we make Troubles coming through When there's nothing we can do Long as you got me and I got you We got big love Big love You know how to laugh Love the way you smile when you see me And 
to tell me there will never be a right time Time All I know is you will know is be my little shine My little shine Someday you will wonder why we all don't break We're so tiny in the mean world And we never know the ends to the paths we make Long as you got me and I got you, you got big love, big love. Walking out with no net below me And they tell me there will never be enough time Then All I know is you will always be my little shine My little shine Someday you will wonder why we all don't break We're so fragile in a huge world We never know the end to the paths we make When the troubles come through When there's nothing we can't do Long as you got me and I got you Big love Big, 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 big. Cheers. I see someone's hanging out with us. Brendan, you hanging out with us from Ireland? Right on for staying up that late. Love that. Let's play some shows in Ireland, bro. <laughs> you know, Allie and I, one of our only like adult vacations, we went out to the Bear Peninsula in Ireland and it was, it was just magic, man. We stayed kind of away from the tourists, you know, it was stone walls and sheep and brown bread and whiskey. It was really cool. I didn't get to go to Dublin. Uh, I would love to do that. One of these days. One of these days. P.S. We're trying really, really hard to head back to Germany uh, next year. We are talking to... Uh, uh, we are talking to... Um, a bunch of spots. Um, it would be amazing to play five to seven duos across Germany next year. I'm not sure if we'll pull it off, but we're going to try. Um, okay, I'm going to play because it's in my head. So that was Big Love. I think that that is a serious contender on this album. Uh, I think that uh, there is a 50% or higher chance that that is going to be one of the songs on the album. It may depend on whether or not Gordy and I connect on it, right? Like, I don't know. I'm just really nervous about it because I can't picture how it's going to be. I don't, I can't picture how it's going to sound in the studio. And it may be that, right, like, I don't want, I think it deserves to be more than just a song on an acoustic guitar but i just don't know what it should sound like or feel like um all right i'm gonna play the latest one um and
And I did a bunch of work trying to kind of put together a little demo uh, that producer Gordy could listen to this morning. So I felt, I feel more confident than, uh, than I have so far uh, playing this song. Uh, I also worked out a new guitar riff that I'll probably have to practice a couple times in front of you in order to do it right. Um, Uh, this is a song called Searching for Words that they haven't made yet. Uh. That was it. Okay, here it is. I was walking away Memories so strong But it's so hard To say The right things The right times The last melting snow With the first spring days shine Hearing her laughter And knowing she Sweet aching sad as I watch that sunset. I'm searching for words they haven't made yet. I'm searching for words that they haven't. Driving the back roads slowly through my hometown When a tough job's been finished That last look around These moments they pass But I just never found The right words at the right time That last chapter Red slow as I savor the end, the secret glance shared with my oldest friend. The campfire burning down inside my chest. I'm searching for birds that they haven't made yet. I'm searching for words. Heaven made me yeah. Breath on my skin When our love has been spent The money's all gone We're not sure where it's went All the love that I've known Mixed with all my No plans to wake up to, so drift off to sleep. The first autumn leaves crackling under my feet. Laughing out loud with someone I meet in the right place, in the right time. The shake of the hand. Before the battle begins The loosening of my shoulders A half a glass in The brush down my spine As I'm placing my bed I'm searching for words that they haven't Time flown, remembering our 
last hang and wishing I'd known the smell of mom's kitchen all the good folks I've met the feel of my daughter asleep on my chest holding on to this moment before I forget I'm searching for words that they haven't made yet I'm searching for words Searching for words they haven't made yet. I'm doing it again. Well, I butchered that last riff pretty bad. Mm. I'll tell you, there are very few things I have ever experienced better than finishing a song. <laughs> um, cheers. <sighs> okay. Well, that's three songs out of 31. We got more work to do. I'll be able to tackle a couple more if I don't take up all the oxygen chatting away at y'all. Um, the challenge is, uh, I mean, I really, okay, so this will be good. I'm going to play that next to another ballad another ballad that I know many of you regular gatherers love a lot a song called Wasted Words I am not sure that there is room on this album for searching for words that they haven't made yet and Wasted Words uh, I'm not sure both of those songs can go on this album that's what I'm worried about Mm -hmm. It's getting real. Sight for sore eyes Running into you here My heart's beating fast Having you so near Don't wanna go But I can't stay Or maybe just
just one drink for old time's sake But let's stick to how you been How was your day Cause there's some things we don't need to say Like you still have my heart this time it was on my phone you should be mine like let's try again we can make it work there won't be said they won't be heard wasted work You never looked so good to me I'm thinking about the things that I'll never be For we see me grab in the morning light Let's say goodnight and just leave quiet Stick to hell Like you still at my heart We can last this time It was on my phone You should be mine Like let's try again We can make it work They won't be the I should have played that one for you in a lower key because it's too, I can't sing that loud without waking up my daughters who are asleep right now. I had to hold back a little bit. Um, all right, really, the problem is not that both of those songs can't be on an album. The problem is more that all three of these songs can't be on an album. Right? If
if you could only choose two out of those last two and this next one that I'm going to play, how would you choose? Because otherwise it's just going to be a song filled with sad albums, with sad songs. Uh, an album filled with sad songs. Uh, and uh, I'd really like to do that someday. Just a sad... I just call the album sad. <laughs> yeah, Beatles had the white album. Metallica had that all black album. This would just be like midnight blue. If you looked really closely in a slightly darker shade of midnight blue, you would just be able to make out the word sad. <laughs> If I had a nickel for every bar I've played, and if I had a dollar for every nickel made, maybe I could think about staying home a while. But that ain't in the cards right now. I'll get down on my knees and I will test. Find my faith to the heavens where the darkness meets the light. That a life that's worth the living is built on all the love we make. So we'll gather all my courage and I'll take all the luck I find. With the pocket full of seashells and my daughter on my mind. Maybe she will keep them in the jar up in the room. Or she might make a necklace or a crown. And she might see when her friends that is dropped them off at school. That hers is out there somewhere thinking about her. I get down on my knees now and test my faith to the heavens where the darkness meets the light that a life that's worth the living is built on all the love we make so we'll gather all my courage and I'll take all the luck I find with the pocket full of seashells and my daughter on my mind Love the life I chose and I don't want any other it Won't catch me feeling 
anything suddenly for my sake And these day will pass and whispers they become a memory That we live inside a jar of little shells I'll get down on my knees and I will test to find my faith Heaven's where the darkness meets the light That a life that's worth the living Is built on all the love we made So we'll gather all my courage And then take all the luck I find With the pocket full of seashells And my daughter on my mind This pocket full of seashells And my daughter on my mind There ain't room for all three songs on that album. screwed <laughs> we need some fancy record labels swoop in and hit us with like a three album record deal you know really exploit all the earnings just take the money I just want the music to be out there. I'm in. I want to thank you all before we play this last song. I want to thank you all. I want to thank you all, like, a ton for streaming the shit out of Hold Each Other Now. Please, please keep it up. It has been amazing. The shares and the streams... We're at 20 something thousand streams right now. Um, and, uh, and with a few, with a thousand or so adding to our tally every single day, um, your uh, persistence and support is getting that song out there across the world. It's getting the song recommended. Uh, uh, by other streamers, two other streamers. Uh, it is getting the song added to different playlists. Um, uh, we are not close yet to the point where this thing catches fire, but, uh, but, uh, uh, we're doing great. We're doing great. We get a few more of us on board. We get a few hundred of us on board, right? Like, these things can have an impact on everything. It's crazy. It really is. Um, so thank you. Thank you out there, gatherers. Uh, it really means, it really means a lot. Um, <laughs> um, all right. Uh, oh, should we talk about this weekend? I haven't even thought about what we're doing this weekend. What are we doing this weekend, y'all? You hanging with us? Ah! We got a show down on Cape Cod. Who wants to come down on Cape Cod, Massachusetts? Listen, I know Brendan from Ireland might have a hard time commuting to Cape Cod, but the rest of you have no excuse. No excuse! I mean, some of you are pretty far away, but hop a fucking plane. Jesus. Cape Cod is beautiful this time of year. By the way, I do never, I never want to go out to the tip of Cape Cod in the middle of the summer. I'll tell you, I don't. I don't want to deal with the traffic. I don't want to deal with the crowds. I, there, it is magic. Cape Cod is magic in September. Uh, and uh, in, in my opinion, others will not share this. October, November, December. Give me a cold Cape Cod. 
No people. I love that, man. Um, we're going to be in a place called Payamet. This is a uh, long-standing, amazing, and quirky, as so many places in New England are. Uh, quirky. Uh, performing Arts Center. Way out on the Cape. It is... Uh, oh, it's just... We've done this a, a bunch of times now. Maybe three or four shows of Pam Met. We love it every single time we do it. And... Uh, and... Uh, yeah. I think it's... I take it back. Brendan, is worth a flight from Ireland. All right? Just book the damn ticket and come out and hang with us. All right? Seriously. Okay. Here we go. Raise up your glasses. Let us drink to the winded our bags. May it always blow steady wherever you roam. May it turn when you're ready. Carry you home. May it keep you ahead of the rain. Raise up your glasses. Let us drink to the heavens above. Some say it's a glimpse of God's great design. Some say it's the sign. All things combined May we look up and always feel wonder Here is to us All that we see Here's to our hearts And the air that we breathe Here's to the realm Good come. Thank you. 
another fun, fun Tuesday. Um, I love talking about the album and processing things. We're just getting going with that. And in one, two, three Tuesdays, we're going to be gathering from the studio. That's right. In three Tuesdays, we will be in Austin, Texas, and uh, we will be gathering from inside the studio. Pretty awesome. Um, uh, it does not give us a lot of time to process all the contenders, uh, but we'll do what we can, as we always do. Please stay safe. Keep on looking out for one another, and I'll see you again soon.